Hi, if you find yourself in Da Nang in Vietnam in December, January, or even February, you might find that you have a few rainy days on your hands. But don't worry, because this city has lovely walks along its Han River. And we're gonna take you on a couple of them today. I'm Gwen, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of 90 Days in Vietnam. We start here at the northeast corner of the Dragon Bridge at the San Tra Night Market. During the day, this is what you'll see. But at night, things are very different. The market has food, accessories and clothes, souvenirs, even Japanese takoyaki, which is not exactly the same as it is in Japan. We walked across the bridge several times. It's just a little over half a kilometer. And um, I'm not making this up, it's 666 meters long. Really, check Wikipedia if you don't believe me. There are six lanes of traffic on it and sidewalks on each side. The area at the base of the bridge was undergoing decorative changes from day to day as Tet, the Lunar New Year, approached. On weekend and holiday nights, the dragon shoots out some dramatic bursts of fire, followed by water. So walking this area in both the day and at 9 o'clock at night is really fun. On the other side of the bridge, we turn northward and walk along the western side of the river. There are countless fun statues to pose with for photos. Then, just a block away from the river to the west, you can find the Da Nang Cathedral, or the Pink Church, built by the French in 1923 during their colonial period. We weren't able to go in, but it was definitely memorable to walk by. Just a block northward, you find the Chohan, or Han River Market. It's open until about seven in the evenings, so you can come by here earlier in the day and then pop into the Santra market uh, after it opens at around six. Continue walking further north and you can cross the river back the way you came from on the Han River Bridge, which swings on its axis in the middle of the night to let large boat traffic pass through. You might feel like the bridges are very similar as you walk over them, but this one is shorter. It's only 488 meters. After crossing the bridge, you'll see a shopping mall with a Jollibee's and lots of other restaurants inside. Going the entire route and getting back to where you started from will end up at about 3.6 kilometers. For a slightly longer walk, go south of the Dragon Bridge. You'll pass the Apex Sculpture Park. We loved seeing this graceful architectural creation and it felt really peaceful to walk through it. Heading southward on the west side of the river, we walked steadily toward the amusement parks in the distance, but we never reached them. We arrived at the Chu He Li Bridge and decided instead of walking on the big bridge that looks like a sail, to instead walk on the smaller Nguyen Van Thuy pedestrian bridge. We were the only people on the bridge when we crossed it that day. After we crossed this bridge, we weren't able to walk close to the river anymore because of a gated community there. Instead, we walked along typical city streets, but we did see a fun beer bottle building. And then later, closer to the Dragon Bridge, we saw this tiny, decrepit little boat 
but still seems to have some sort of purpose. This walk was 3.9 kilometers. And that's what you can expect from a walk around the Han River walking paths. And here's where we wrap up for today. See you next time for a different look at Danang.